tomatoes. Everybody eats tomatoes in some way and tomatoes are everywhere. I want to show you the variety of the fresh kind right down here. We have the ones now that they sell us that are still on the vine. There's four that are still together. These are the kind of the largest size I've seen with the vines on it. This is the next smaller size. They come on the vine. And then we have the little ones that are on the vine. And some people think that when you keep it on the vine like that, that it makes it sweeter because you're still connected to the tomato. The vast majority of tomatoes are sold off the vine. We have them from big, and there's even a bigger size called beef steak, which was not in the store the day I went. But these are big and medium, and these are smaller, and these are called grape because they're not round, they're kind of oblong. When most people bring their tomatoes home from the grocery store, they just stick them in the refrigerator. They think that's the best way to do it, and they'll keep them cool. Well, actually what you really need to do is not put them in the refrigerator, but bring your tomatoes home from the grocery store and keep them at room temperature. And the reason you need to do that is that there's an enzyme that keeps the tomato ripening until you get it cold. And once you get it cold in the refrigerator, the enzyme quits working. So place your tomatoes, stem side down, at room temperature, and then as they ripen, put them in the refrigerator. We're going to work on these in just a second, but I wanted to show you all the other ways that you can serve tomatoes. The first ones is just it's different kinds of tomatoes in the can. This is just the whole tomatoes. They're cooked in their own juice. This one has some flavorings in it, and they have all different styles. This one is Mexican. There's also the diced tomatoes. They also have them sliced. They have them chopped. Any way you'd want to serve them, these are great to have on hand, and they, without the added flavorings, they taste just like tomatoes. Okay. And then we have the ones that are added with green chilies. This is kind of a salsa that's in the can. We have the tomato soup. That's very recognizable. And then we have salsas in the can. And this one is like the organic kind. This one has spices in it, so it's called spicy. And then we also have all the jarred kinds of salsas. And you know, that, uh, those opportunities are just endless the kinds that you would want. So read the labels and find the things that you like. And then of course we have tomato paste. Tomato paste is, the, is taken out a lot more of the water than the tomato sauces. And so this is really handy to have. And if you have leftovers, you can just put dollops onto a plastic wrap and then put those into bags to use later. And then of course there's ketchup, tomato ketchup. All, and they come in different flavors. They come in different thicknesses, whatever you like there. And then we have the ever-famous spaghetti sauces, and this is just one of many different flavors, many different brands that were there. Uh, the one thing I would like to suggest about the, these sauces is that you always want to check for the amount of sodium in them, especially if you're on a sodium diet that you're watching your sodium, because some are pretty high in sodium, but they're all very tasty. And then there's tomato juices. And this is just the V8 with low sodium. But, you know, there's all the different kinds of tomato juice by itself, and they've got tomato juice with this and that, and endless, endless opportunity to eat tomatoes in some fashion. Um, these are the ones I keep around probably the most of the whole tomatoes, because then you can use it in any way that your recipe calls for, and I don't have to have tomatoes on hand. The other nice thing about the canned tomatoes is that they're already peeled usually. You don't have to worry about peeling them. And I have to say, you know, I always keep telling you I'm an easy cook. I don't peel my toma tomatoes. I just cook them, and when they get finished cooking, if there's too much skin, I take it out. So now we're going to work on the fresh tomatoes. Now I want to show you the difference on the insides of tomatoes. To cut a tomato, you need to have a serrated knife. A lot easier than if it's not. And then you just cut down. Now if you'll notice, this one has lots of seeds on the side. And then I want to use this one. And you'll notice it has hardly any seeds on the side. And then we have the little ones. Can you see that? And they, they're kind of like this. They've got half seeds and half meat. Now, some people don't like the seeds, but I want to tell you that the vitamin C, most of the vitamin C that's in a tomato is in the little gel that's around the seeds. So when you seed a tomato, 
you actually are throwing away the vitamin C. So that's just something for you to know while you're making your decisions. The one tomato that has the most meat is this tomato. And you'll notice it's, it's an oblong tomato. And this is one that's really good for when you want to cook with tomatoes because there's not a lot of seeds. So I'm going to cut it again to show you that it's not, there's, you know, there's not very many seeds in the whole thing. So now I want to show you how to seed one in case you do need to seed one. You just want to squeeze it kind of like a big orange and just kind of, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't tell you to cut it into quarters. It's a lot easier to cut into quarters. And then you just kind of seed it. Some people will actually cut out the core when they serve it. Some people just cut it off at the top. And some people take out all of this. And you know, I leave that up to you what you think is best for your recipe. If you're going to do hollow tomatoes, they'll have you take out all of that. So you just end up with the meat that's next to the skin of the tomato. So, and then I wanted to show you inside of a vine tomato to show you that they look just the same. They do cost a little more at times. You cut that in half. But you see, they're pretty much the same. They have quite a bit of seeds in them. But some people say these are more flavorful. Now, one of the best things to do with tomatoes, besides just eat them raw or sliced on your salad or on your burgers, is to cut out the core and you take out the seeds and we're going to bake them. And the way you do that is you do that to it, you lay it into bowls, and I usually use it in quarters when I do that, and just keep seeding them and fill up the bowl with the tomatoes and then you squirt some olive oil over them put them in the oven for 350 degrees takes about 10 20 minutes just kind of watch them you'll notice they'll kind of shrivel up and then you can eat them as a side dish instead of as slices on your burger or in the salad chopped up you know it's really nice once in a while just to heat things up that are usually not heated up and that people don't think of them as heated up and it's really enjoyable to eat them that way so go to my website, I have many more recipes and I have a lot more information about tomatoes.